Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a 2-in-1 honeycomb and honey bottle farm for your survival world or realm. Now what I love about this 2-in-1 honeycomb and honey bottle bee farm is, well, it's a 2-in-1 farm. So that means we don't have to have separate farms for our honey bottles and then a separate one for the honeycombs. Nope, with this design, it is all done in the same place. Now on top of that, the redstone behind this build is surprisingly compact for what it does. And as you can see here, another thing I love is how clean it looks. Over here we have our lever. On the left side we have our indication lamps to let us know what we're farming. And then right here in the center we have a lovely view of our bees. Now how this farm works is very simple. Right now we are collecting honey bottles and all of those drops will go down into our chest below. So there they are, right there. Now, as I mentioned, this side will let us know what we're farming. So if we want to get honeycombs, all we do is simply flip the lever. And we will now be collecting honeycombs. It is that simple. We flip it one more time. We switch back to honey bottles. And everything after that will be done automatically. In last week's Bedrock Redstone tutorial, I showed you how to make a simple and expandable automatic honey bottle farm. So, if this is something that you're interested in, a card to it will be popping up in the top right corner, and there will also be a link to it down in the description below. To make this 2-in-1 honeycomb and honey farm, you are going to need a 5x6 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have are 3 sticky pistons, 2 dispensers, 3 repeaters, a comparator, 9 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, two redstone lamps, a redstone block, one hopper, one lever, one hopper minecart, one rail, a chest, a beehive or nest, and then we have our building blocks, six slabs, two glass blocks, one grass block, two item frames, a flower, three bees, and then in our dispenser we are going to need at least a stack of bottles and then a pair of shears. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is build the collection system. Now this build is going to be two blocks under the ground, so like this, but for demonstration purposes, I like to have everything above ground, so you can see everything that's going on, but do keep that in mind when you are making this build. So let's go ahead, we're going to grab our chest, we're going to place it right here front and center, Next, grab your hopper, swing around to the back side, and crouch place that hopper into the back of the chest. Get your rail, crouch place that rail on top of the hopper like that. And finally, grab your hopper minecart and place it right on top of the rail. So there we go, that is the collection system all done. Now this is going to sit right under our grass block with the flower, so we can go ahead and place that in right now. So that's going to come up like this. And flower right on top. And there we go. The collection system is all done. Next, what we want to do is place in our block swapper. That is going to allow us to toggle between our dispenser with the shears and our dispenser with the empty bottles. So to do that, let's go ahead and grab some blocks. And right against our grass block, we want to come two temporary blocks out like this. A block up. And on this block, go ahead and place down a lever. Knock out that temporary block right there. Next, what we're going to do is come around to this side. Place a block against that temporary block. We can now knock it out. Get a repeater, run a repeater out from our block with a lever, like this. Now go ahead and grab your sticky piston, place a temporary block here, sticky piston facing out. Get your redstone block, place your redstone block on its face. Now go ahead and grab your sticky pistons once again, we want to come around to this side. And right against that redstone block, place your sticky piston, and it will extend. Now go ahead and grab your first dispenser, and right against this sticky piston, place your first dispenser facing towards the grass block like this. So this is what we should have so far. To set up the rest of the block swapper, what we're going to do is come right below our first dispenser, place a temporary block down like that, get your last sticky piston, place it facing up, and then get your last dispenser and place it right below the first one. Now we can go ahead and knock this block out. Now to wire this up, what we're going to do is come around to this side, and right against the sticky piston, place a block right here, so it's right under that one. A block like this, 
one more, and then a block up like that. Now go ahead and run your repeater into this block right here. Get your rest on dust, place one here, and one right there. So that is everything all set up, and we have ourselves a working block swapper. So if we come around to this side, flip it, that's going to switch. And there we go. Next, we are going to set up the beehive or nest. But for this, I don't recommend placing in your hive or nest just yet, as that will cause your bees to come out and the farm is not done. So you probably want to place a temporary block in its spot for now. But for this, I am going to use the hive because I don't have any bees. So what we're going to do is place our hive or nest right against the dispenser like that. Come around to the back side, place a block against the hive or nest. Block down, a block out. Grab your comparator, run your comparator out from that block. That way it will detect the honey levels inside the hive or nest. Next, what we're going to do is run that comparator into a block like this. A temporary block right here, a block like that. Remove this one, a block here, one block above the hive or nest, and finally a block above the dispenser. Now go ahead and grab your redstone dust, and what we're going to do is line this up with redstone dust like that. And that is all wired up and ready to go. Very simple. And as I explained before, the honey levels will go up to a level of five. So what we have here, one honey level is equivalent to one signal strength. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And once this gets to five, this is going to be full. And that's going to power our dispenser to either harvest it for honeycombs or honey bottles. And finally, it's time to set up and wire our redstone lamps because indication lamps are kind of useful for this. We do want to know what we're farming. So to do that, let's go ahead and place a block against the hive right here. Get your redstone lamp, place one right there and one right above it. Next, grab your redstone torch, come around to this side and against the block that is holding up the comparator, we want to place our redstone torch there like this. Get another block, place a block above the redstone torch. Look at the redstone torch, place another block right here. Grab your repeater, and in this gap, run your repeater into that block, and that is going to turn on the bottom lamp. Now what we want to do is grab redstone dust, and right on top of this block, place on redstone dust. Now this will turn on everything, but don't worry. All we do to disconnect it is grab a block and place it right above that redstone dust. And you can see that disconnected the two lines, preventing the cross wiring, and this isolated this redstone here. Now what we want to do is place a block right here, your second redstone torch, and place your redstone torch right there. Now that will invert because this is powering that block, which is causing this torch to invert. And there we go, that is all done. But wait, if we flip the lever, it's not going to do anything just yet. We still need to wire this up to something. So all we do is come underneath over to this side, and right on this block right here, we want to place a temporary block here and block up and remember this is where the torch is so all we do is place our redstone dust right there and that is all completed that's going to power that that's going to wire to this and that is going to control this side over here so you can see that did switch over and if we flip it to give it a test there we go we have the switching of the lamps very handy very cool and the redstone for this build is all done and like I mentioned taking a look at it it is all very compact now that the rest zone is all done we can go ahead and finish up the build so let's go ahead and close our hive so we're just gonna build around it just like this and we want that to go off to the side for our item frames one more block up like this to give us that clean design a block here two glass blocks like this and to complete the top all I did was place down slabs now at this point you can probably place in your hive or bring your bees in. Now it doesn't have to be this small of an area. You can make it bigger if you choose to. You just want to get your bees inside. So again, we do want three bees inside. One, two, three. Close that off. They are all ready to go. They are nice and enclosed. And the outside of this build is all done. The last thing to do before we're done is set up our dispensers and then let that be indicated by our redstone lamps. Now for the top, what we're going to do is have it be honey bottles. So let's go ahead and place in our item frames first. We want this to be honey bottles and then honeycombs down below. Now since we are currently selecting honey bottles, we can go over here to our dispenser, open up the dispenser, 
and place in our honey bottles. Now the secret to this is that we want empty bottles in every single slot because if we don't, let's say we have an empty slot, once it collects the honey, the honey will actually go back into the dispenser and cause the bill to break. So we definitely don't want that. So to avoid that completely, we have to make sure we have empty bottles in every slot like this. And of course you can have more if you want. And as time goes on, always be sure to come back and do maintenance and make sure every slot is filled with empty bottles. So that is set up. Now for the honeycombs, that is a lot easier. All we do is flip the lever. It's now set to honeycombs. And then we come over to the dispenser once again. And then we place our shears inside. And it is all ready to go. This farm is completely done. And there you have it, everyone. A two-in-one automatic honeycomb and honey bottle farm for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of today's redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.